Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all okay. Today we are going to travel to, I think it's Grenada, Grenada. I'm not really sure how to say it. Um, it's about an hour away. We've got to be out today really early for the cleaners to be in and they need like a two hour stint. So we are going to drive about an hour away through the mountains um, and there is, my husband's found it a huge mall apparently. So I think it's gonna be a lovely scenic view and I thought I'd bring you along with me. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it stop. The end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies, yeah Promise I won't forget yeah. Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter I'd share a little shopping haul with you so the first shop I got loads of bits from is Kayabi KB not really sure um, so I got a few bits of my granddaughter this I absolutely love it's an all-in-one little suit it's like a very fine knit with these your ruffles at the bottom got this in 36 months it is quite big it definitely fitter and that was 12 euros and then i bought three pairs of leggings this gorgeous kind of jade green color these with some apples on and they're like ribbed so those were three those were five and these were two euros 50 i thought would be good for winter and then I found this gorgeous t-shirt, The Love of Your Life, It's Me, and that was only two euros. I also picked her up a pair of these Terry Townend shorts. They reduced from six to two. It's really weird because that's age five, but yet the waistband is tiny, so I don't really get their sizing. And then lastly, I picked up this gorgeous top for her again yeah in three 36 months and this was five euros this is like raised writing with hearts all over it i thought it was absolutely adorable they have some amazing children's clothing and then moving on to myself i bought two of these cami tops for pjs but i mean you could wear them anywhere kind of like a rusty orange colour and a dusky pink. Um, those were half price, they were three euros each. And then I got three pairs of pants. These were two euros 50 each. And then I also got a really cute ankle. These heart details and that was three euros 99. 
Yeah, I've never heard of that company, but really loved it. Really good shop, a bit like Primark, really. Found another store called Lefties, and I found this gorgeous floor print, kind of smock style dress. Really, really beautiful print. And this was €12.99. Again, I don't know, a little bit like a Primark, really. And then also from there, I bought these silk pajama bottoms. You can't really tell. Yeah, that's, well, it's a bit brighter than that, actually. And those were €5.99. So I've got those. Bought these from Casa, my favourite home store. Yeah, that's probably the closest sort of colour, a really nice green colour. And these were four euros fifty. And I think it's meant to be like a wash a cleaning cloth. I think so. It doesn't actually say, but it was in that kind of section. It's like a knitted material. And I don't know if you're aware, but um you probably are, but Zara HM, in fact Mango. Pull and Bear, what's the other one? Bershka, so much cheaper in Spain than the UK. So I did buy some bits from Zara Home. One item, I've got to get it home, I'll show you, but it's lush. I've wanted one of these little stalls for absolutely ages to go in my ensuite. It's really well made really good quality and this was um 19.99 i absolutely love it but somehow i've got to get, get this in the suitcase i think depth wise it'd be fine getting it in a case but yeah wish me luck so this pillowcase was 39.99 it reduced to 9.99 i don't know if you can see it's absolutely gorgeous i have no idea what kind of fabric it is but it feels very i don't know like natural it's quite hard to see yeah that's fairly similar color as all zara products made really good high quality so just need to get a pillow inner when i get home I love it, it's quite big as well. Also bought this gorgeous salt and pepper set. Absolutely love it. And this was 15 euros 99. Oops. So good, perfectly on our dining table. Got this wooden like draining ladle. That was 7.99. And I saw these and had to get them. They're actually tongs. Scissor tongs. I really like them. And those were $7.99 as well. Really good quality. Gorgeous black tray. Not really sure what it's made of actually. But this had $9.99 on it and it actually was $3.99. A bargain. I was actually after this in the UK, sort of putting keys and things on. This little enamel tray, $2.99. Originally $5.99. This leaf from Zara. This is the last thing I got. So last leaf from Zara. I've got two of these bowls. Really love them. I thought it'd be nice for soup. They were $3.99 and originally $9.99 really lovely quality and lastly i bought a number six this was 9.95 as far as i can tell it's no different from the olaplex just cheaper and lastly i bought two bits from 
women's secret this top i actually bought the last time i came in a really nice uh, like rusty orange color and i had it in white so i decided to get another one that was 6.99 from 14.99 and then i got a pair of these like boxer shorts the lacy detail those were 12.99 to 3.99 right i'll just show you some bits that i bought from shop called Primal or Primal I don't know Primal probably um it's a shop that had loads of cosmetic bits so I bought Olaplex Zero because I've got number three but I've only got a little bit left um where's the price I know it's on the item packaging does it say, I think that was, I've got the receipt, but it doesn't give a breakdown. I think that was about 20 euros. And then I bought, I found these, they were all next to Olaplex. I think it's just like a dupe. Um, Revox Bond Repairing Oil. So Olaplex was 20 euros and that was 9.95. So less than half price and then i bought this which is equivalent to olaplex number three the bottle is huge actually let me show you my number three so this is my number three and this is the revox number three huge over double and this was 9.95 so maybe it says RRP, well, meant to be RRP. Maybe it's some kind of discount store, I don't know. But I think it'll probably be exactly the same as this stuff. Oh yeah, I got those little bits. I have really been taking my, taking care of my hair since I've been out here. Um, I've been putting in Olaplex Zero, then number three after 10 minutes and then spending the rest of the day downstairs. It's a bit fluffy actually, it needs a bit of a spray. Um, so I've been doing that, I've done that three times so far on this holiday and just trying to work out. I think we've been here over a week. So yeah, I've done it about three times and I plan to do it again. And then, so I've been doing that mainly around the front and then I've had a leaving conditioner in the back. So it feels really good condition actually. And it's really, I don't know if you can see, considering it's blonde, it's really shiny. So yeah, taking advantage of lots of hair treatments. Just come out of my room, everyone else is having a lie down, a siesta, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to come down to the pool, chill out for a little bit. I've got a couple of magazines, go for a little dip in the pool. It's really hot today, actually. But it's really, really nice. I know back home you're having a bit of a heat wave, heat wave as well. But obviously it's so different here because I've got the air con and definitely is a different kind of heat compared to the UK and there's kind of like a quite nice breeze here at the moment here are the crickets so loud got myself a nice little place under um, one of the umbrellas we just view behind me reading all the stories. So yeah, I'm going to chill out and read some of these. <sighs> Just made myself a cup of tea. It's lush. Mmm. So good. So we had a really nice day out today uh, in Granada, I think it is. Um, yeah, really, really liked it there actually beautiful beautiful views all the way down massive mountains we went through loads of tunnels obviously through the middle of the mountain just really really stunning so yeah it was really nice to kind of get all those views and be out and about it's really really hot here today 
so yeah we've kind of missed a lot of the heat the severe heat anyway yeah and i would say that's the best mall we've been to so far it's actually my husband found it so yeah we just had quite a chilled out day looking around the shops uh, we had breakfast and then we had a meal before we left which was a Popeyes, which is American. And although we've been to America lots of times, we've never actually had a Popeyes. So yeah, it was, it was really nice actually. But yeah, I think tonight, probably maybe a couple of games of Uno, maybe some snacks later. We've got some tzatziki and some crisps. So I don't think anyone's gonna want a meal later. But yeah, I'm really enjoying my holiday so far. It's lovely to feel relaxed and chilled out. We went out for a nice Chinese last night which was absolutely delicious and really, really cheap actually. What did we pay? I kind of it was like 43 euros for all of us. Yeah, I'll show you the views at the moment. Still stunning. I'm gonna miss the noise of the little crickets. So I hope you guys are um, enjoying the heat back home. I have heard that it's very, very, very hot in the UK. And although it's hot here, at least you've got air con and you know, you can have a bit of a breather, but back home, it's I know it's really hard in the heat. But yeah, we've got, I think four days left. So our last day, we're going to head up to Malaga, which is where we're catching our flights. And there's a mall that we've been to before. So we're gonna do that on our last day because there's no point in getting wet or sandy or anything like that because there's no way of us drying our towels. So I think we're just gonna to go to that mall at Malaga close to the airport, have a day just wandering around, um, make sure we've had some food before we drop off a car. And then I think, I think we're dropping off our car just, I think it's, I think it's about two and a half hours before our flight, something like that. But yeah, I think tomorrow is definitely a pool day, chill out. I'd like to get my legs a little bit more tanned. I feel I am quite tanned, but my legs are quite white. They're really hard to tan. Does anyone else have that problem? My legs, I mean, they're not quite like milk bottles now, but before they were really white. Now they're, they're not too bad, but they're nowhere near like the rest of my body. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this um, video. I kind of like looking at shops in other countries just to see what you can get in other countries really. And yeah, I find, I, I think I found a few really nice shops today and picked up quite a few lovely bits. So I hope that you did enjoy having a look around the mall and what I bought and I will see you very soon. Take care guys. Bye.